hey y'all welcome back to my channel i know y'all are super excited for this video because i am this wig y'all 20 inches this is a 10 by 7 afro kinky curl wig it's gorgeous like it's already pre everything it's like a glueless wear and go wig like as soon as i put this on top of my head baby it's already blending like that kind of shocked me a little bit so since it's a closure i do have my little sideburns out and i was like you know what i kind of want some of my edges out so i put the wig a little bit behind the side of my edges now this side i cut perfectly absolutely perfectly but the other side oh my gosh y'all i cut it a little bit too far on this side made a big circle and i should have had done that just a small one is fine but i went overboard but it was okay so I used got to be um got to be glue and I used got to be gel to lay this wig down even though this is glueless. So I just needed it for the day. You can always lay your glueless wigs like for the day if you don't want it to be like laid laid for like days on end. All you need is to use got to be got to be and some spritz. That's all you need. Got to be free spray. Get you the little squeeze and some spritz right here. That's it. That's what's going to hold everything together. Just some three little things. And it's going to last all day. And then I take my wig off at night because I don't like sleeping in wigs. I don't know how other people do that, but I don't do that. So after everything was kind of finished drying and it got a little bit tacky, it was time to lay the wig. So I put the wig in the position exactly where I wanted it to lay. And once I got it to the position that I wanted it to lay in, I just pushed it in with my comb to make sure that it was pressed into my skin and of course we're going to be melting this in and using the elastic band that comes with the wig how convenient the wig box also came with the edge control brush which i can never have too many of those and as you can see it's already blended all i did was add a little bit of makeup to the hairline and the part and just pushed in all those you know spritz that i used and pushed it into my skin and it was already looking like so good make sure that you use the elastic band if you really want to melt it in to set it in for the day of course and that's really gonna set the lace into the skin is the elastic band you always need to wear your band like e kane says band for an hour i personally don't band for an hour but I definitely banned for like a good 20 minutes. Um, I think I banded it up twice just to make sure that it was laid completely um, where I needed it to be. So you'll see me add spritz here and there to where I'm like, oh, I need a little bit more and it needs to like dry. And then don't. OK, here's the thing. Do not put the elastic band on your lace if it's wet. Like see how I just sprayed just now? I'm going to have to wait like a few seconds for that spray to really dry. Like if I touch it and it feels wet, I can't put the band. But once it dries a little bit and I have everything in place where I need it to be, then that's when I band. Do not band while it's wet because it will leave that sticky residue. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, I did leave my edges out. That piece right there is not my hair that is the wig but i did blend some of the wig hair into my edges just to give it like a little natural look on the side now this side i was so mad i just uh i cut it way too high up but it was fine i still used my edges and some of the wig to blend into like kind of like a baby hair look but i didn't want too many baby hairs just two swoops on the side it's fine nothing crazy now it's time to bend. We're going to bend for like a good 20 minutes. While that's um melting in, I'm going to be working on the hair. So as you can see, it comes like this, but we're going to revive her. All y'all need to do is get you a wet spray bottle. Work in sections because it is a lot of hair. Work in sections. Get you a spray bottle. One that mystifies. This bottle right here mystifies. So as I'm like squeezing it to spray... I don't have to squeeze it the whole time because it just mists all over like so mystify that hair get get it drenched get it wet so we can shape this up how we want it and i personally wanted to do finger coils so i used some of the 
um mousse but i had ran out so i had to use some of the miel products girl so i ended up using the curl custard from miel putting it in my hair just so i can define the curls and i wanted to like finger coil some of them so that it wouldn't be like kind of just blend like one curly style like i kind of wanted to i don't know zhuzh it up a little bit girl i don't know so first things first you definitely need to detangle the hair Anytime you buy a wig, curly wig, just go ahead and detangle it off back so that there's no issues. Add, add water though when you're detangling, please. I have water and product in my hair. So after detangling, I was like, okay, let's do the finger coils. So I just took some curls, put them together and just like twirled it around my finger to create like a coil. And that's really it. I just did that in a few sections. The curl pattern is like, oh to die for like i love the curl pattern on this wig i really didn't have to do too much layering either i don't think i cut this wig really at all so this is a true like length for the wig i didn't really cut any layers or anything like i usually do but you definitely can if you want to give it that look of a layered look i didn't want to because i really do love how the wig just came straight out the box you can just wear it and go like, ugh. close your glueless wigs for me from now on. Like, super easy. Not much to do, but lay the lace just in the front and you're on your way. And style as needed. Oh my gosh. I love the curls on this wig. So I used to use powder on my wigs, but now I've switched over to this, um, I think Ruby Kisses. And I used that for the part and for the edges, well for the lace, because it really is pretty true to my skin tone. Like it looks pretty realistic. Like I really liked it for the part. I noticed that sometimes, like if I use certain concealers and stuff, like I guess it'll oxidize and turn a little orange, which kind of is annoying you know like I don't know but that's what I used for the lace and for the parts and now it's time to take the band off and let's see what we're working with okay so we do have some residue from the products that I laid down but all we have to do is kind of wipe those little uh, pieces off but it's laid pretty well like it melted in very nicely, if I do say so myself. All we have to do is remove these little pieces, peel them off. Not me using my finger. <laughs> I look at my finger and take it off, but it does the job. You don't want to wet it up too much. So I didn't really want to do extra baby hairs up at the top, but I did know, notice I needed to melt it a little bit more. So what I did was just add a little bit of spritz to the front so that it would lay a little bit better um so it'll melt a little bit better so like i said before i melted it in like a good two times so that this was the first time and i'm gonna melt it in again for a second time
Oh, since I don't want to directly put the spritz on my lace because it will start lifting, lifting if you do that, I just literally add the spritz to my finger and just put it in certain spots where I'm like, yeah, this could just melt a little bit better. So that's what I did. I added it to my finger and just dabbed where I needed it to melt just a little bit more. And like I said before, y'all, if the wig, if the spritz is still wet on the lace, you do not want to melt it in so fast. You want to make sure that the spritz dries and then band it. And then as you can see, I'm taking my band off and it's pretty melted. I added a little bit of bronzer because I noticed that the concealer was a little bit too light for my skin tone because I definitely had a tan from being on vacation. But yeah, that's all I had to really do was just to blend it in, was just add a little bit of bronzer. And yeah, look at the melt. It's looking good. This wig was super easy. Oh my gosh, so easy to do. And look at the curls. Gorgeous. I can't wait till my hair grows out so that it looks just like this because I'm in love with this curl pattern. And this is how it looks when it was pretty fluffed out and partially dry. It was just probably like 10% still wet. But other than that, it was pretty dried up. And it's looking good, good, super juicy, super bouncy, super defined curls, really easy wig. I definitely recommend this for a beginner friendly wig. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, faves.